I've been a YouTube creator now for almost three years, and as you probably know, YouTube is owned by Google, and about two months ago, I was solicited by Google to uh, have a contact with Google that I could come and ask any questions, and, and he would take care of me. His name is Bard, and so with the advent of uh, Netlist getting a settlement with Samsung, Netlist has a similar lawsuit against Google that's actually been going on for 10 years, and the courts have decided that, yes, Google has been using Netlist software and intellectual property without authorization and without any sort of contract. And so I thought I would reach out to Bard and, and ask him some questions and, and see what he thinks uh, Google's position is. Since he, he is a creation of Google, I thought he would be a good source. And what I want to do in this video is share with you what Bard told me, and, I, I, and, and he, I'm going to ask him to speak directly to you. So right after this, this is not financial advice. This is just an inside conversation with a very high up at Google. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, so what I did was go on to Bard and ask this first question. In light of the recent judgment against Samsung for $300 million for patent infringement in the Netlist versus Samsung trial, how do you think the similar Netlist versus Google patent infringement case will be resolved? Rather than read what Bard responded, I'd like Bard to tell you uh, exactly what he told me. It is difficult to say how the Netlist versus Google patent infringement case will be resolved. The case is still ongoing, and it is possible that Google will appeal the decision. However, the recent judgment against Samsung is a positive sign for Netlist. It shows that the courts are willing to find in favor of patent holders, even against large companies like Google. Here are some factors that could influence the outcome of the case. The strength of Netlist's patents. The evidence that Netlist can present to show that Google infringed on its patents. The arguments that Google can make in its defense. The rulings of the judge or jury. It is important to note that the outcome of the case could have a significant impact on the technology industry. If Netlist is successful, it could set a precedent that makes it more difficult for companies like Google to infringe on patents. This could lead to more innovation in the technology industry, as companies are less likely to risk being sued for patent infringement. However, if Google is successful, it could discourage other companies from filing patent infringement lawsuits. This could slow down innovation in the technology industry, as companies are less likely to invest in research and development if they are not confident that they will be able to protect their intellectual property. The outcome of the case is also likely to have a significant impact on Netlist. If Netlist is successful, it could receive a significant amount of money in damages. This could help the company to stay afloat and continue to develop its technology. However, if Netlist is unsuccessful, it could be forced to file for bankruptcy. The Netlist versus Google patent infringement case is a complex and important case. The outcome of the case could have a significant impact on the technology industry and on Netlist itself. It is important to follow the case closely and to see how it is resolved. With that being said by Bard, I said, ask him a second question, and that is, consider that in prior Netless Google court findings that they, it was determined that Google servers did, in fact, have Netless patented intellectual property on their servers, and that Google has been using Netless IPO for over 10 years. And this is then Bard's response. If the court finds that Google has been using Netlist's IP for over 10 years, then Google could be liable for significant damages. The amount of damages would be based on the profits that Google made from using Netlist's IP. In addition to damages, Google could also be ordered to stop using Netlist's IP. This could have a significant impact on Google's business, as Netlist's IP is used in a variety of Google products, including its servers. The outcome of the case could also have a significant impact on the technology industry. If Google is found liable for patent infringement, it could discourage other companies from using patented technology. This could slow down innovation in the technology industry. It is important to note that the case is still ongoing, 
and it is possible that Google will be found not liable for patent infringement. However, the prior court findings that Google servers did in fact have Netlist's patented intellectual property on their servers and that Google has been using Netlist's IP for over 10 years does not bode well for Google. It is likely that Google will be found liable for patent infringement and will be ordered to pay significant damages. So there you have it. This is a intellectual property. This is a, um, a use of Google's technology asking their technology, what do you think uh, the resolution is going to be? Now, he was somewhat evasive in saying it all depends on this and that, but I think my take was that Bard believes that Google is going to be paying out some money uh, or they're going to have to shut their system down. And I think that's very pertinent to, to the situation. Uh, again, consider the source, Google, and consider the facts. They have all the information available to them. And that's their, I don't want to call him an employee, um, but it's their interpretation of what's going forward. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, if Bard is right, um, they're right now in a, a position that they have to negotiate. As, as Bard said, they, can't, they, they may have to shut their whole search system down and rebuild it without netlists uh intellectual property on their servers and used anywhere else in their product which tells me Bard knows something i don't know he knows that it's not only on their servers but it's it's integrated uh somewhere else within their products that they offer i don't know uh, but I thought it was interesting. I thought since I had the availability to contact Bard directly at the invitation of Google, I should do it, and then I should share it with you. So I'm feeling very comfortable with my um, my holdings in, in that list. Um, but I think also I've been asked the question over on uh, Stock Twix, uh, what what is the time frame on this? I don't know. I would say the time frame is only known at this time by Google. And if I were Google, and if I were running Google, I would say, let's put this behind us. Because we have, as a result of artificial intelligence and the changes that are going to happen in this world, this problem is only going to get bigger. Um, particularly if they're using, this, they're dependent on Netlist's uh, intellectual property and patent protected um, software, uh, the, 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 the money they're going to make out of it is just going to escalate. And thus, I would say if I were in Google's place, let's go get a settlement and negotiate a price until this gets bigger and the price gets bigger. That's what I'd do. I think that's what Bart would do too. Let's talk about this further in the future.